Oh, don't get too scared. <laughs> Dracula and his son. The scene was rocking, oh, we're digging the sounds. Hey guys, it's Jay Vibe Development. We're talking about the anime OVA series from 2006 to 2005, Hellgirl, or as the Japanese name is Jigugu Shoujo. This is an animation drama horror anime about an internet spirits realm called Hellgirl.com. Those of you who've ever been bullied and were all revenge of that must log in at midnight to a website called Hellgirl.com. And if you ever ensue, you know the name of the opponent. Or the name of the bully who bullied you, Hellgirl will appear to you to their bidding. That's not to say you get off scot-free. Just because your person gets tempered, that means you have to pay the price with your soul. Now, apparently the internet and this website has been killing a lot of people. Apparently, from a detective and his daughter, a photographer, and the whole investigation behind the whole haunting website. And why it's killing teenagers and bullies alike. This is a 26th episode anime. My thoughts of the series. I think it's a very good detective story. It is a fantasy. It has elements of horror dealing with Japanese lore. And it does a very good job adapting that Japanese spiritual world lore of spirits and demons. This is a very good idea. I know this is kind of an inspiration for the weird horror movie called Fear.com. But uh, from the way it looks, it's a very good OVA, actually. And the characters are likable. There's a lot of new spirits. So what's good about the series is it's not plain. There's a lot of development. There's a lot of what goes on. So there's a lot of Every new episode is very progressive, so, and, and the more episodes do go back and forth a little bit, which can be kind of daunting at times, but you know what, it doesn't matter, the story progresses on and on, and you want to see, not only worry about the mother and the father and the daughter, but you also worry about the victims, and they talk about morality, is it right to kill, is it right to send for death, is it right to be angry at something, at a person who made fun of you years ago, is it right, is it just, or is it for the unholy, it has some scary moments, as always, I mean, with the different gods, Helgo is this malevolent, this malevolent spirit that can only give mercy to few, but not a lot to anyone. They try to discover who she is, why is she here, and what is her bidding? What does she do? A long time, and I also, I like the idea of different punishment. There's these different spirits that are in this series. Like, there's an old man, there's a beautiful lady, there's this cross-eyed, I remember there's a crux demon. So, each tormentor, they're, they're like dementors, almost like Harry Potter, like tormentors. Each of them are a different age, each are assigned for a different, you know, bullying level. They're like Inception Your Mind Scare. They basically mind blast you, basically, and they will scare you into haunting. Sometimes, actually, according to the story, they might kill you over the shock and fear they may deliver. The dog was very good. <clears throat> On the voice, I just did a very good job. You know, none was a loose character. None felt forgotten. Uh, the, 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 I like the, the investigation, investigative part of the story, the photography and finding clues. Of, I like to look up emails of, you know, I just convert, I just went to hellgirl.com. I like how they use the internet to solve crimes, to catch, you know, who, who is going at this at midnight. There's this kind of sense of spirituality, the demons that come in. It's kind of in vain, and it is gory, but that subtle kind of gory. It's not like, oh, blood everywhere. It's at the right moment, when the right intensity and the right terror combined together, and that's when they come and great scares come in. This is created by anime creator Hiroshi Watanabe. Watanabe well, is a very good direction in giving the spirituality and the reality a very good spin. Similar to how Wes Craven was able to get us out of the nightmare world, dream world into reality for the Nightmare on Elm Street films. It has that kind of sense of dreamlike essence when you see her L girl. When you see her, she's very mature for her age. I mean, she is a thousand year old demon, but... But she doesn't really quickly kill, but she did it to those who deserve it, and that kind of gives her a sense of humanity and honor. Which I like the character for that. She is contracted to the site, and her spirit can only rest within this. So upon that, that's a very good idea. To finish off Hellgirl, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5. It's a very well-directed anime with beautiful writing, beautiful, nice, interesting characters, a different always plot for each story that always comes back and forth to help retract those who don't. Uh, Hiroshi Watanabe does a very good job at, you know, giving this, this surreal, dark, very gothic look to this whole story, and the idea of using visual media, mixed with morality. This is Jay about the Night, sign off, and see you later. Bye-bye.